Hey everybody, Rob Orgel with Silencer Syndicate, and we're back out here at night to do some muzzle flash test. However, this time we're gonna do things a lot different than last time. One, I think we're just gonna do straight video, and we're not gonna do any paused uh, muzzle flash. We're just gonna roll straight through, and we're gonna talk about the experience from behind the gun and from next to the gun, so we can get a better idea of the human experience of the muzzle flash. Second, we're not gonna do 25 or 30 different suppressors. We're gonna do the most up-to-date and low back pressure suppressors. Also, we've decided that really it's way more fun to do this with guns that have a hard time doing it. So we're staying with the 10.3 and the 11.5 barrel lengths. So you're gonna see all short guns tonight and you're going to see 11 different suppressors from the Ks to the full size and then a couple new guys to include the B&T Print XH suppressors. We also have a new guy who you might not have heard of yet that has just been blowing our minds with its performance. How it performs at night with muzzle flash, don't know but we're gonna experience it tonight. Guys, the growth we've had has been because of you. So we really appreciate your support, your likes, your comments, even some of the silly comments. That stuff really does go a long way in the YouTube algorithm, and it shows YouTube that this is interesting. So please keep doing that for us. And also, side note, Kat reached out to us yesterday, had a long chat with them. They're gonna get a couple suppressors for us. So we're finally gonna get Cat Cans on the channel to get more head-to-head -head reviews. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, here we go, Huxworks Flow K Suppressor. I saw a good muzzle flash on that first one, and then I saw medium, and then not a bad one on number three. The first one was kind of kind of rough. That whole sparky thing we talk about with titanium suppressors. All right, now we've got the Huxworks full size going on. Man, I saw a lot of muzzle flash for each and every one of those. Uh, the K seemed to get better after the first couple. That full size muzzle flash the whole time, but it was sparky. It wasn't crazy. It was just, you know, sparky. Okay, here we go. This is the Surefire RC3. That wasn't bad. I saw a little bit on the first round, but after that, I saw. Almost no muzzle flash after that first one. That's from behind the gun, at least. All right. This is the Velos 556. Full size Velos. No muzzle flash from shot one all the way through to shot three. All right, here goes the Velos 556K. I saw a little bit on the first one, not on the second two. On the first one, I saw enough. I mean, it was it was decent, but then after the last the last two, it was barely noticeable. Pretty impressive for a K cam. Okay, Velos K coming off. Let's see who's got a hub on him. All right, here we go. The Print X H. Now this is a tight. Titanium suppressor with three different types of metalloids inside of it, specifically designed to be low back pressure and remove muzzle flash at night. All right, print XHK. I saw muzzle flash on shot one, less on two, less on three, but still saw muzzle flash on all three. I agree. It was, uh, it was a decent amount. Are we going to say that the Velos K did better? Interesting. Okay, so kind of like comparing the Velos full size. Now we've got the Print XH full size 556 titanium with again the three metalloids specifically to defeat muzzle flash. Here we go. I saw muzzle flash on shot one, a little bit of muzzle flash on shot two, and almost none on shot three. It was nowhere near as bad as the uh, previous, but it was still there. Um, but I noticed it on all three shots. It was, again, just sparks. Interesting. So the next guy is going to be the Stealth Additive Works 5.56 five, suppressor. And this is the one that I keep saying. I mean, I'm really impressed by it, by how good it sounds in comparison to even bigger cans, 
how light it is, and how low back pressure it is. And they've just released a new model that I was getting text about today. And he was telling me it has even less back pressure than the current model I'm holding. All right, let's give it a go. Stealth Additive Works 556. I saw like, I think from my right eye, I saw a little bit of sparks over here, but it was a very small amount. What'd you see? I saw a fair amount. You saw a fair amount? Yeah. I would say it was a little bit worse than that last uh, BNT. Than the full size BNT. That's impressive because this guy's sized right in the middle and weighs a little bit less than the small BNT. Interesting. Okay. This, this has got my interest because I don't think anybody's done this test with the PTR 556 suppressor. And I mean, it's very quiet. It's medium low back pressure, but um, I don't think anybody's tested it at night for muzzle flash. And I think their ports, it seems like there won't be a muzzle flash because their ports are so small. I saw like a spark on shot one and nothing on two and three. What'd you see? I saw a bit of flame on the first one, but after that, I would say it's one of the best performers. Really? So the first round pop is going to be, you know, a bit bright, but after that, it was, it was dope. Nice. And an all titanium suppressor doing that good. Interesting. Because like the, the Ventums, those are, those are not titanium. Those are ink now. So that kind of begs the question, is it design or is it material? Yeah, good question. So this is the RD USA. This is their, I think they call it the LS5, the full-size suppressor. This is a titanium suppressor uh, in its full-size configuration. Here we go. Huge muzzle flash on shot one, medium on two, and not much on three. What'd you see? Yeah, it stepped down quite a bit by shot three, but the, the first one was pretty big. Yeah, the first one was pretty huge. Okay, so this is their LS3, I think. I might be messing this all up, but basically it's their 5.56 full size and compact. But this one is, um, I think they call it like Hanes 282 or something like that. Uh, this is non-titanium, but it's a K-can, so who knows what kind of performance we're gonna get. Whoa! Whoa! Huge muzzle flash on shot one, medium muzzle flash on shot two, and I didn't see much of a flash on shot three. What'd you get? Yeah, that was probably the, uh, the sparkiest mm -hmm. one. So who's our best one? I would say uh, between the Velos and maybe the R3. I don't know. It might be worth doing the one. More. So let's do the PTR again. The PTR, the RC3, and the full-size Velos, yeah? Yes. Or the compact Velos, full-size. Okay, full size. Probably be a more fair comparison. All right, so we got our final contenders, the PTR, the Velos full size, and the RC3. Here goes the PTR, three rounds. I saw just a little bit of muzzle flash on shot one. Nothing on two and three, what'd you see? Yeah, uh, same thing I saw first time was a uh, little bit on shot one, and then it progressively got smaller and smaller. It was pretty small by the time we got to shot three. Well, I think in being behind the gun, like the suppressor covers a lot of the flash. So like a lot of this flash, I don't even know about. It's a small cone, um, just straight out the barrel. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the whole muzzle flash at night in your house thing. Like what's your buddy seeing? What's the enemy seeing? And what are you seeing? And I saw so little from shot one. Here's the full size Velos 5.56. Five, I saw nothing, all three. Barely a little bit on shot one, and it was just a small amount of spark on the other ones. I mean, it was minimal. That might be our best performer? So far. Okay, RC3. I saw a little bit on shot one. Nothing on two and three. I saw it on each, uh, but again, it's kind of just like a, a bit of a streak of fire coming out the front. You know? I mean, still the Velus is better. The Velus is better? I'd say the Velus wins. I think the Velus wins too, because from behind this thing, I don't see any of it. So one more time, since we like the Velus, let's run the K, just to see like, okay, what's the sacrifice being made? If they've nailed this design, what do we lose? And let's be fair here. The Velus is a Inconel suppressor. 
So, you know, the whole titanium versus Inconel thing, perhaps that's a piece of what we're seeing in shine here. Well, I mean, that PTR stands out with how it is titanium and how minimal the, uh, the signal. Yeah, the PTR is an all titanium and it's lightweight, low back pressure, super quiet. And the muzzle flashes, I mean, we're splitting hairs here. All right, here goes the Velos 556K. I saw one, nothing on two, a little bit on three. Yeah, I'd say the same. It's um, definitely, the first one is a lot more intense than the Velos full size. Um, but after that, it got progressively smaller. It might be like the best of the case. Probably, yeah. And this might be the best of the full size. Yeah. I don't see anything behind the gun. No muzzle flash at all. I'd say Velos, honestly. It's just it takes a hand down uh, with uh, an honorable mention to the PTR. Yeah, so let's let's be fair. The Velos was the best, but it is Inconel. So it's heavy. Um, there's other different metalloids in these suppressors, but the second place is an all titanium can. So like you can't say, well, it's just because it's that helped. Sure, I assume it helped. I'm really hoping at Chato they release an all titanium version of this can. You know, I think too is uh, you and I were talking about this earlier. The design of the end cap, I think, plays a huge part in this. Because totally. I can actually see patterning following the design of the end cap for each one of these when I'm standing here at a quarter angle looking. Obviously, it's different behind the gun. You can't see that, but I can see the pattern of the end cap coming out the, at the end of the gun. Yeah, that, that is interesting. And I think they did a really good design. And this is like, it almost looks like the 36M is kind of like where they started the whole recessed muzzle device within the silencer. And, and they're doing that here and it looks really good. And these, I mean, all of these flow very well. Like we excluded a lot of the non-flow suppressors just to captivate, you know, the, the flow through audience. And like the Hux works, that heavy ventilation on the front did not do any favors for nighttime shooting. Back pressure, I mean, it's one of the best performers, one of the best. There's a couple that are knocking on the door to beat that but it's that heavy ventilation that does that and doesn't help at night. Yeah, it breathes fire. Totally. And to anybody nearby, it probably doesn't sound near as good as it does behind the gun. And that's like, the, the now that we have the full-size 5.56, five, it has a weird hing to it, but it does sound good. It does sound pleasant. It just has a weird pitch. But again, the whole fireball thing is something. All right, guys, if you like this content and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Your support means the world to us. It's got us to where we are, so please keep it up for us. We're going to keep giving you free educational content as much as we can, as fast as we can. So uh, for free, hit that like, comment, subscribe. It means the world to us. And if, if you don't mind throwing a comment, even if it's just, uh, I don't know, the whole, somebody says weird stuff about where P is stored, but... Whatever you put in the comments, it helps, whatever silly it is. So thanks, guys. As always, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.